Assisted Reproductive Technology Regulation Bill. So underline regulation. This is basically about regulation. So far, we did not have any regulations for this assisted reproductive technologies. Earlier, we have a draft that is uh, passed earlier, but it was not passed in the parliament. It was not become an act. Le now, we have one bill that is ART Regulation Bill 2020. It was introduced. It is introduced in Lok Sabha, September 14th, 2020. What are the features of it? I told you it is only a bill, there can be a change, there can be an amendment later. As of now, what are the features of it? This bill, basically it is for the regulation of all the assisted reproductive technologies. Okay, what is the definition of ART? Any, it includes all the techniques, all the techniques that will handle the sperm or the oocyte outside the human body. Any technique which handles the sperm or oocyte outside the body or when you are transferring the gamete or the embryo back into the reproductive system of the female that will also be coming under that technology will also be coming under this ART. Okay, fine. What are the examples of this services? Fine. It is gamete donation, in vitro fertilization that is fertilizing an egg in the lab, gestational surrogacy. Even surrogacy is also brought under this ART. Okay. How does it regulate the ART? See, basically, the clinics and the bank, the bank which has got uh, do something to do with the donation, screening, all these banks and the clinics must be registered. Every clinic, every bank must be registered in the national registry and they should adhere to the standards given by the authority. They are registered, they will be registered only when they are sticking onto the standards. And if they fail to comply with the standard, the registration can be suspended or cancelled. And this registration valid for only 5 years. After 5 years, it has to be renewed. Okay? Okay. What are the conditions for gamete donation and supply? Screening of the gamete donors, collection, storage of the semen, provision of the oocyte donors can only be done by a registered ART bank registered okay and a bank can obtain semen from males between 21 to 55 and who said between 25 to 35 to make sure the gametes are healthier okay and who said donor should be a married woman very important she should be married woman and she should at least be having one child of her own and the child should be of three years of age the women can donate oocyte only once. Maximum seven oocytes can be taken from her. Okay. What are the conditions for offering ART services? You should get return informed consent from both the parties. Okay. Return informed consent should be got, obtained from both the parties. The party which is seeking the services should provide insurance cover. The party which is seeking the services should provide insurance cover for the donor. Okay, and there is absolutely no sex selection permitted and you need to check for the genetic diseases before the implantation. What are the rights of a child? The child which is born out of this ART will be a legally legitimate child. It will be entitled for all the rights and privileges available to a natural child. And the intending couple should never ever abandon the child. Okay, and the child born through ART will be deemed to be the biological child of the couple and the, the donor will not have any kind of parental right. The donor cannot have any kind of parental right over the child. As I told you, if the couple is abandoning the child, it is punishable. It is an offense. Trading or importing the human embryos or gametes, it is an offense. Exploiting the commissioning couple, women or the gamete donor in any form, that is an offense. Transferring the human embryo into a male, okay. Transferring the human embryo into the male or animal, that is unnatural and that is punishable. Okay, that is also a punishable offense under this ART bill.